Lions TV, this is your match report for the game that I've just watched at Sparrows Lane in the Professional Development League. It finishes Cholton under 23s 2, Millwall under 23s 1 defeat in the local derby. And believe me, it's never easy to swallow, even at that level. Luckily, it never fucking happens to the first team. But on this day, we've lost the game, a game packed full of incident. Goal, sendings off, three sendings off in the game, two for Cholton, one for Millwall. Before we delve into that, let's take a look at the Millwall lineup. It was Joe Wright in goal, flat back four as far as I could see, Garande left back, George Walker right back, two centre halves were Arthur Penny and Bessart Topolosh. Two centre midfielders were Sean O'Brien and Alfie Allen. It was three in behind of one with Jaden Davis left, Abdul Abdul Malik central, and Seb Drods right with Tyrese Briscoe as a lone. Striker, we didn't start the game well. He's one nil down before we fucking knew what had happened. And it was a ball over the top. It did seem like a nothing ball. And a Charlton player gets in between two of our players. So much time and space. Joe Wright comes out, does the right thing. But he has so much time to compose himself. He just dinks it over Joe. And we're one nil down. There was a conversation. We'll say it was a conversation and not an argument. Between Arthur Penny and George Walker. Um, over who was accountable for that. But it was I'm not sure who was, to be honest. But too much time and space for Cholton in our back line. Sees them 1-0 up. After that, we go and start getting into the game more and popping the ball quite nicely. Although Cholton give a good, good account of themselves. And I will say, to be that close up, it's just literally right behind the respect barrier. There's uh, some big lumps. I tell you, you wouldn't want people like George Walker running at your full pace. Just probably run straight through your power and pace. Big lumps in our side. And it was a physical game that was played at a good pace. It was a good game to watch. Not long after that, we're pressing high. Cholton are playing it along their back line. Abdul Malik does well, nicks the ball off one of their players, cuts in on goal, pulled down. I thought it was a penalty, but it's a judge to have been just outside the box. And a straight red card for the Cholton player, which from my angle maybe looked harsh. Abdul Malik was in, but he was wide and there was defenders covering. But listen, we'll absolutely take it. And it's a free kick to us right on the edge of the box. That's whipped in superbly by Sean O'Brien. And as we saw at home, well, I saw at home against Queen's Park Rangers. Best Art Top Lodge was there to hammer it home. However, disallowed, and it was the beginning of a bad five minutes for Best. I think it's disallowed for offside. Not long after that, ball pumped long into the channel. Um, Top Lodge is running back towards his own goal. He's got a player behind him, a Cholton player. And what he tries to do, I was literally right behind him as he did it, he's gone to knock it back to Joe Wright, and then he's gone to pull wide to show Joe the angle to receive the pass back. But he's already started travelling wide, before he's knocked the pass and he sort of gets his body shape all wrong, he won't admit to tell him, listen, I love Bess, I think he's a great player and he's just getting better and better. Fantastic left foot, strong defender, but he's accountable for that one. He'll know he's dropped a bollock and he probably won't want me reminding him. So he's, he's, you know, he's not caught the pass right, he's caught under his studs. It's not made his, his intended destination, which is Joe Wright. Charlton player comes in, squares it to his mate, open goal, and we're 2-0 down against the 10 men. At half-time, I don't know what the team sort was, but when we come out the second half, you know, Cholton, one nil up with 10 men. OK, they got to sit, maybe. 2-0, they ain't got to go nowhere. And, you know, I will say this. I didn't defend, really. They give a good account of themselves, Cholton, in the second half for all the time. It was um, 11 against 10. If I could give a little bit of constructive criticism, as I said, I don't know what the half-time talk was. But teams we know, football teams, like to pass the ball, receive the pass, get your head up, pass it, move on. I do like that. That is the way to go in football these days. However, with Cholton sitting so, you know, sitting so deep in good shape as well, you know, it seemed like they had three banks of three at one point and a goalkeeper. Um, so I feel that there was areas for us to travel into because you've got to draw them out. So people were receiving the ball and they got sort of 10, 15 yards in front of them where they could have travelled into it, drawn a player out and then get things moving. But we kept popping the ball. A couple of things as well I've noticed. Um... The big dog up front, Tyrese Briscoe, who was my man of the match today, and I decided that before he scored. He, he's big, he's strong, he holds the ball up, he never complains, and it's not an easy job playing up front by yourself, you know, especially in a team that aren't scoring loads and loads of goals and doing really, really well. Um, You've got to get closer to him, boys, if you're watching. I've been tipped off, you are watching. So get closer to the big dog because he can hold the ball up, but he, he can link play, but he needs people around him closer. And I feel a couple of players for me, again, slightly out of position. I love Jaden Davis, fantastic feet, can use both feet, lovely step overs, quick feet, great deliveries. But we played him wide left and, I, and he, he dropped in actually at, at one point into centre midfield. Alfie Allen went off, Nana Boateng come on. 
And I felt that that's Jaden's much more productive in that central midfield role. In that central midfield field role was, if I can say it, Sean O'Brien. Now, for me, Sean O'Brien is, is, is the best player in the under 23s by quite a stretch. Fantastically talented, both feet, but he's so much more dangerous in a more advanced position. And he's sitting at the, at the minute playing central midfield with Alfie Allen. And I don't think that's definitely the best option for him. So, things to be maybe considered for the manager. But listen, we ain't a bad side and we don't often get beaten. And as always, as we know, we come back late and we have a go. And it's exactly what happened again. As I said, Nana Boateng came on. Tom Leahy came on and did well. George Walker was flying down the right-hand side, our right-hand side, of course, and Charlton's left. Our final balls, not just from George, from everyone, wasn't fantastic. Maybe the wrong decisions at times as well. And we did come close. Sean O'Brien over the bar, one of them. Abdul Malik over the bar of another one. Sean O'Brien again, forcing a good save from the Charlton goalkeeper uh, from a free kick. We finally get the breakthrough. George Walker's pace was frightening, honestly. And he's powerful. He's getting beyond. He slots in Tom Leahy, who gets his head up. Puts it in beautifully on a plate for Tyrese Briscoe, who gets his goal. Um, and we're back in the game. After that, I actually said to the linesman, how long left? He said seven minutes. About 27 seconds later, the full-time whistle went. In between then, it was, there was two more sendings off, which I forgot to cover. As I said, the game packed absolutely full of incidents. And we're already six and a half minutes deep. Arthur Penny saw a straight red, which was contentious again, in my opinion. Because he's not that type of player. And then Cholton go down to nine men. Time wasting. There was plenty of time wasting. Their goalkeeper's gone down, but cramped the absolute flake at some point as well after about an hour. And I played in goal, and I'm a fat bastard, but I very rarely did I go down with cramp. So, um, yeah, there was time wasting. And their player, one of them, two silly things in two minutes. First one, he cynically pulls Jaden Davis back when Jaden's gone round him and trying to get, get the game moving. Booked for that one. Two minutes later, he jumps in front of our goalkeeper as he's got to kick one long. And he was sent off. So it was a game full of incident at Sparrows uh, Lane. But for once, Cholton get the better of us. In the other 23s, as I said, I thought Tom Lee did well when he came on. Um, they to forget for the centre arse, unfortunately. But they're two good players and they'll bounce back. I thought that George Walker was outstanding as well. Um, but the man of the match for me was Tyrese Briscoe. As I said, works tirelessly up there. Strong, holds the ball up well, never complains, just gets on with the job. I will just say, boys, you've got to get closer to the big dog in support to link the play and get things moving a little bit quicker up front, in my opinion. But there you go, it finishes in the under-23s. Cholton 2, Millwall 1. It's over to the first team tomorrow now at the Den against Stoke. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.